Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Swear. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Numbi or Mrs. Cloud. This title, can't really call it a game, is developed and published by Falcon Brew and it's releasing on the 11th of January 2022 on Steam Early Access. Yeah, this is definitely a unique one. Like I said, it's not really a game. The developer describes it as like watching clouds fuse with a Rorschach test. <laughs> okay. So you basically relax and enjoy what your mind creates and you can take your time because there's mm. no wrong way to play Sphere. So our viewers get to watch clouds watching clouds doing a Rorschach test. Pretty Please, much. Um, don't, any psychologists out there don't, um... Yeah, don't tell the viewers what you're seeing then. <laughs> Lock us up. <laughs> okay, so it says we can drag a sphere with the left mouse button to change the pattern. So currently we've got this circular pattern going here. So if we drag this in here, it's gonna change it. And we can resize it with the mouse wheel. Okay. Okay. So that's bigger and this is Small. smaller. Okay. See what weird creations you come up with. I have no idea what I'm doing, but oh. yeah, it is very. So we create an creepy. endless stream of entrancing new patterns. With these ones, oh, okay. And the four orbs in the corners each control an aspect of the pattern. And this is changing the shape from spherical to star to... Yeah, this feels like those... what do you call those things that you look through, those looking glass things? Oh, those kaleidoscopes? Yes! <laughs> That's a little bit, yes. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Okay. This one... The screensavers that you used to have that would be controlled by music. Oh, there's visualizers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the developer said this isn't a music visualizer, but the visuals and the music do actually sync up pretty well. Mm -hmm. What's this? I don't know, but I'm starting to see weird patterns in your... Looks like an angel. <laughs> angel? <laughs> hmm. I see an owl. This looks like an alien. No, it's definitely an owl. Skeleton. Beautiful flower, lotus flower in the middle. Okay, so what are all these other buttons here? You've got an eyeball. So this just shows you what you've created, it looks like. Now you can watch it without the interface. Okay. okay. And then this. Mm. Does strange things. <laughs> this is very trippy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what does this do? No, this is really oh, this looks like it mirrors it. Yep. Something. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we've got a. Whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this is. Yeah, it looks like and it starts getting sinister. Biological something. It's T virus. Yeah. Okay. It's strangely hypnotic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm assuming this is a share button. It looks like you can actually export it as a JPEG or a GIF or an MP4 or PNG and set the length. So you can export it as an animated. Wow, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, what do we have down here? What's this? Oh, we've got an alpha editor. Very experimental. Values from the play mode should be transferred. Changes in the editor are not transferred to play mode for parameters below radial size. Okay, so yeah. Get all technical. Can okay, no, I get all? If you don't want to just drag your mouse around, you come in here mm -hmm. and you start messing with all this stuff. <laughs> I see you. So, if you're visually inclined to use the 
the play mode or whatever it was and if you're more mathematically inclined you come here and you, che you tweak parameters <laughs> Programmers and this. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So, these patterns are all made up out of dots, it looks like. Mm. Oh, that feels like I'm mm. looking at a Doctor Strange Marvel movie special effect <laughs> scale. Mm -hmm. From here you can also load and save and export image. There's quite a lot of things that can be tweaked. So this thing. Wow. <laughs> Rings. Why not? Okay. Foreground and background color radiant <laughs> fractals. Yeah. Okay, yeah, lots of tweaking there. Let's go back to this. Yeah, what is this here? Oh. And then it can cause a ripple. No, this adds uh, everything if you drag it ripples, but this it looks like adds uh, more branches to the. Okay, I've destroyed it now, but <laughs> yeah, see, it increases the complexity of the okay. pattern. See. Batman. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a clear Batman. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and now it's something with lips. Big lips. It's uh, masquerade, what do you call those masks with feathers and lips and everything. Yeah. Exactly. You know what's cool about this? Mm. I can just export this picture and I already have the YouTube thumbnail. Ah. Uh. That's very handy, more games or programs should do that, will make my job much easier. Yeah. Now you must get one that shows a very shocked face, because that's what people like to see in YouTube thumbnails, right? Oh yeah, that's like going to be very hard to accomplish with shocked uh, reaction. abstract shapes. <laughs> the screen, something like that. I think people are going to wait a very long time and they actually expect that to happen. <laughs> okay, what is this? I think some uh, documentation mm -hmm. will come in handy when this game is released. Just the oh ugly settings. Okay, I've discovered <laughs> the ugly settings. Show a QR code, enable user action, user image, user text, dot size. Mm. Don't know what any of these mean, but if you want the ag ugly settings, it's over there. Mm. You can rotate. Okay. Not what I pressed there, but I did something. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically just something you can sit and mess around with. Mm. It's right up your alley. So what do you think the reaction to something like this would be? Is it something that's going to keep uh, people's attention or are they going to mess around with it and then move on? Yeah, I guess. I would have liked this to be, like you said, it looks like a visualizer, but you know, play your own music and have it react to that while you mess around with it. Mm -hmm. That's what I would probably use it for. If I just want to relax and I want to listen to music but I want to, you know, be a bit more interactive, not just sit back and look at the shapes. I want to influence them. Mm. But I do like the fact that you can export your stuff as animated files, GIFs and so on. Mm. That's pretty nice. I would um, want to use it with a motion sensor thing and use it as to exercise. <laughs> Motion sensor. <laughs> yeah, I you know, like dance to it, like um, wave your arms and your legs and move and. Okay. <laughs> then you would so need to have, have some to type sit. of uh, webcam <laughs> feet in feedback. connected with a webcam to actually see you or something. Yeah. That's the only way. Unless you want to strap the mouse to your <laughs> legs while you jump around. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure, you're gonna come up with very interesting shapes then. Yeah. I guess the like volume. Anything to make exercise less boring. Okay. So, yeah, there's our um, <laughs> feedback on this early access version of the program. Turn it into an interactive music visualizer or <laughs> add some webcam <laughs> detection capabilities to turn it into an exercise program. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> Indeed. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this spiral. Or just use it to create art and post on social media. Like, can already see everyone. Like I've created challenge. 500 new NFTs today. <laughs> They're all animated spirals. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's more of a mind, software yeah. toy than a game, but as far as I know, it will be available for you know quite cheap. So it's not something that's going to break your bank. For mood updates, that's what will be good for. Current mood is swirling blue dots in a spiral yes, pattern. Exactly, it's all abstract and you can make everybody wonder what's going on. Well, they're gonna say my chakras are not aligned today. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> I can definitely see myself messing around with this occasionally if I want to create something relaxing and mind altering mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how this evolves during early access what's going to be added to it what kind of functionality it will get and what people are going to do with it mm -hmm. it's currently it really looks like it can influence it in a lot of different ways and come up with all kinds of very different Designs. patterns and designs and animations yeah yeah, there is a demo version available of this, so uh, if uh, $3 or however much it's going to cost is too much, if you need further convincing, maybe check out the demo and see mm. if this is something that you're going to like. And I believe it will also be on mobile devices, Android and iOS. Okay, thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. <laughs>